Hey, it's Anna. Welcome back to Solo Trip Podcast. And if you're new here, hi, I'm an independent music artist. I write, record and produce my own music. And I also film four series here on my YouTube. And this one is all about spirituality and metaphysics and the occult and so, so much more. So for this video, we are going to talk about something that I have been learning in therapy. And it is finally starting to sink into my brain, <laughs> which is that there are many times when we feel stuck and unsure of a decision and for myself I've definitely learned that it's usually because I have two beliefs that oppose each other and I'm not uniting them I'm kind of like it's almost like feeling torn apart in two you know when there's like a decision that you need to make and you get pulled in one direction and then pulled in another and you don't know which direction to go in because you can feel yourself wanting to go in both and just split in two because you don't want to make the wrong decision and you don't want to choose something that's going to negatively affect you in the long run kind of thing. So it can just feel a bit stuck and like a deer in headlights that's completely frozen because you just don't know which direction to go in. And I've come to understand that it's because I have two opposing beliefs or sometimes even more than two that completely oppose each other to where one belief will want to go in this direction and one belief will want to go in that direction and even though they're opposing they can both exist at the same time so for example you might have a belief that is like I really want to go do this thing I'm so passionate about it I know I can do it I'm really talented or I'm really driven I'm really passionate I need to go do this thing like your belief could be just like I'm gonna go do this fucking thing because I really really want it and then there could be this other belief that is like hell no <laughs> I cannot do that thing. I am absolutely terrified. No way do I want to do it. Let me go hide in my bed for another year because I am not leaving this room. You know, like you can have two beliefs that completely oppose each other around the same sort of topic and subject. And it can feel like you're being pull, pulled apart, being pulled in two. And I've had this kind of dynamic going on internally so much over the years and I didn't even realise that it was happening to where it was causing me so much stagnation and suffocation like I felt so caged in and stuck and unsure of what to do because one part of me really wanted to go and do this thing and then the other part of me really didn't because it was just absolutely terrified of it and felt like it wasn't good enough so what I have now been practicing in therapy and what I highly recommend is actually acknowledging both because oftentimes we can try and force one side or one belief we can be like no you know what fuck the fear fuck this aspect that doesn't want to do it I'm gonna just go do it anyway and then you find yourself still getting kind of stuck and frozen because you might be able to push through it for a minute but then eventually you're going to hit a brick wall because your belief system is not supporting it if that makes any sense so I found for myself that I have to actually sit with both beliefs and that doesn't mean you sit with them at the same time because that would just be weird we can't focus on two things at once but just sitting with each aspect whenever they come up you know maybe the um, aggressive more forceful more dominant side comes out and you want to sit with that and then another day maybe the fear comes up and you want to sit with that but just being able to actually acknowledge both aspects because they are both real they are both valid and they've both been created through programming so as a child or whenever it was that you first took on this belief around doing that certain thing, it could even be something like leaving a relationship and one part of you wants to leave and another part of you doesn't. You know, this happens so much around so many different areas of our lives. But just uncovering um, what it is that you actually believe and this can also be so many different things. It doesn't necessarily have to be two aspects of you that are opposing. You can have one part that's scared, one part that's anxious, one part that's like lonely, one part that's this, that, you know, there's so many different um, ways that we can kind of fractalize within psychologically because let's face it, there's a lot of trauma that happens here and that is how this process begins to happen is that we 
start to take on these beliefs that certain parts of us aren't good enough or certain parts of us are bad and then that kind of separates them from other aspects of ourselves and our job is to actually unite them and bring them together to acknowledge that all of them are valid and okay and safe to exist because it's something that's been formed when you were a child and you were probably shamed or belittled or something around that type of thing. So then that is why you've now started to take on this belief. And through shadow work, the process of shadow work is about uniting these parts because they've been hidden for so long. So you've been like running on autopilot and behaving in certain ways that you're not aware of the root of. And the root of is definitely a belief system. And that belief system is so many different aspects to us that can be hidden and kind of kept in the shadows or in the dark. And our job is to bring them to light and be able to unite them by giving them our presence and our compassion and our love. And honestly, when I first started doing this, it felt so weird. Like, why the fuck am I going to give some kind of thought of mine or some kind of emotion of mine some compassion? Like, it felt really odd and I kept resisting it. And then I had to sit with that resistance and be like, okay, I'm finding this weird. Let me just sit with the fact that I'm finding this weird because it is kind of weird to do, you know? Like, it's not something that um, has been normalised yet. I feel like it's getting there, but for the majority of the past, like, generations it has not been a normalized process to do so it can feel a little bit weird and a bit uncomfortable at first but gradually it will become more familiar for you to just sit with all of these different emotions and all of these different parts of yourself that feel different types of ways compared to each other it's kind of strange but you know we are multifaceted so you're bound to have aspects that want to do something and that don't want to do something and instead of getting stuck in that because they're pulling you apart being able to just sit with whichever one comes up whenever it comes up so that you can meet it with the love that it needs because if you're fearing something chances are that fear is a real fear you know like it's it's real for you to hesitate and doubt something and fear something when you've been taught to do that because it's a survival mechanism if you've been taught to do that as a child then it's natural and normal and second nature for you to continue on doing that as an adult and when you want to reprogram that and change that automatic like behavior or template it's going to take a bit of time and a bit of effort. So it's only natural that you would want to automatically default back to the old when you're trying to create the new. So we can take the pressure off and just meet everything that comes up, every emotion, every thought. We can just meet them with some love and some compassion and some understanding because it is a programming that it's running from. And we don't need to punish the program or hate the program or be annoyed at it because it is what it is. It's what was created. And now you get to to take back control of that you know and reprogram it and reparent yourself like you are your own parent because these little parts were likely created when you were a child so you can almost think of them as a child because that's where their mentality is and you're coming in as the parent and sitting with them like it is a child that's feeling fear or whatever kind of thing it is feeling and sitting with that so that it's able to actually release naturally without any force necessary but I know it's kind of weird and it can feel a bit uncomfortable but think about it as if it was your child because if you had a child in front of you that was feeling fear but then they really wanted to go do something like how would you treat them I'm sure you wouldn't yell at them and punish them and be mad at them for being scared you know like you would probably have a lot of compassion and a lot of empathy because you would know what that feels like and you would be able to sit there and comfort them in the way that a child needs and a child can understand and it's the same process for ourselves and for all of these inner aspects they just need some comfort because they were created as a child they have a childlike mentality and they just need some nurturing from you and we probably will spend this whole lifetime with these aspects because they're not going anywhere you know they've been created for a reason first of all but they've also been created 
um, through a human ego mind. And that ego mind is not going anywhere. It is necessary for our survival. But how we respond to it, how we consciously choose to respond to it is what can change. And that's what we're doing by sitting with these aspects. As these ego childlike aspects come up, we just sit with them as the observer and as the parent and nurture them. And the more that you do this, the less stuck you will feel. Like when a decision comes up that you need to make, the more that you sit with these aspects, the less they control your decision making and you're able to actually get through to your intuition rather than it being like a programmed fight or flight kind of automatic emotional reaction you know once you sit with those and they start to calm down then you can actually hear your intuition to know what decision it is that you actually need to make so thank you so much for watching i hope this video was helpful definitely check out the description box for all links to my music my social media my phone number and everything else about me and i will see you in the next video bye Still relax a while,